Hello everybody, my name is Ross and I'm here to introduce the new user interface for mTerrain. I've been working on it for the past little while and I'm excited to share it with you, so let's just get right into it. For this demonstration project, we have uh, one of each of the mTerrain related nodes. We have the mTerrain node, we have an mGrass node, an mNavigation region 3D, mPath, an mCurve mesh node. Now there are other nodes that come with this plugin, but we're not going to cover them here because they uh, don't necessarily interact with the new UI that we've created. So when you click on the mTerrain node, you'll see uh, this toolbar that appears down here. Uh, this is where all the settings related to sculpting and painting and grass and all that will appear. But here we have the settings button, which will open up a panel with some options to import and export terrain related images. Here you can import height maps and uh, color maps and uh, export them as well. You'll see the color layers that you create will appear here and the height map itself. And you can set the export folder path. And over here is the option to import the .res files that mTerrain creates. We have the image creator here, which is where you create the uniforms that you will then use in the shader for painting color layers onto your terrain. And there's an option here to show the status bar, which just gives you some extra information. Here we have more settings. You can remap all the keyboard shortcuts for M Terrain. Everything you can do with the keyboard, you can remap here. At the bottom here, there's a restore defaults button. And here we have uh, the save config settings, impression and stuff like that. It's region information, the settings that you've chosen for your terrain. Base size and uh, info window, which we'll add more stuff to later. So you can click this button to edit the currently selected node, or you can click the three dots to see a list of all the nodes in your scene and all the edit modes that are available for them. This button allows you to walk along your terrain at a constant height. It's good for seeing scale. There's currently a bug where after you've moved, if you try to free look in the editor, it'll jump you back to where you were before you started walking. We're still trying to fix that. And you can place a human for scale. So let's hop into editing. If you click on this button, you'll enter sculpt mode. A little cursor appears for the brush. You can paint and raise the terrain like that. This is the layers panel where you can hide different layers. You can rename them. You can merge layers, add layers, delete layers. Just keep in mind these are destructive edits. You can't undo merging layers or deleting layers. Let's look at the brushes window. Here we're in sculpt mode. You can see all the sculpt brushes, so the raise, bring to height, smooth, remove layer, hole. Click on them to select and different options will appear relating specifically to those brushes. And the brush size you can control with this slider. Or you can also control mouse wheel to zoom in and out or open bracket, close brackets, similar to Photoshop. Let's look at masks. So you can place a brush mask like this. Increase the size, change the rotation of the mask by 90 degrees increments only. You can also invert the mask. This will shape how your brush affects the terrain. You can use the middle mouse button to move the terrain mask to a new location. Right click will cancel the mask or you can press a little X here. Let's look at paint mode. When you enter paint mode, create a new color layer. Here you set the layer name, the layer type. Color paint is just painting a color on the terrain. Channel painter paints in one channel at a time without overriding the other channels. Bitwise brush is 128 bits that you can set. The other two brushes are a little bit more complicated. You can watch the other videos to get more details about them. The uniform name is what you'll use in your shader and that's how the image gets stored in the actual terrain. In layer types that aren't color paint, you can share a uniform between different color layers. The advanced settings have compression options in the image format. Click on the brushes to add a new brush or to edit the existing brushes. You can add an icon to help you easily identify the brush later. You can change the color on a channel paint or a layer. You can select which channel will be affected. Then you set what value that brush will paint. If you've created a new uniform, you'll need to add it to your shader and then add it to your albedo in the shader and then restart the grid before you can use it. Let's look at M grass, grass painting mode. There's two brushes, add grass or remove grass. Click to paint grass, alt click to remove grass. If you have the remove grass brush, it's the opposite. And the mask also affects the brush. Control how strong the mask is with the mask cutoff, which only shows up when you're editing grass. Let's look at M navigation region 3D. So here you can see the navigation region as it's being created dynamically. You can remove navigation or add navigation. This will tell M terrain not to build dynamic navigation there. Let's look at M path. M path allows you to make things like rivers and roads. When you click on the M path node or enter M path edit mode, this toolbar will appear here and there's lots of settings there. So you click to select points, shift click to select multiple points, control click to add new points and alt click to remove points. So let's just add some points here. My M path is set up to make grass wherever the path is. My M curve mesh has a basic box cube, which is what you're seeing rendered along the curve. As you can see, it's snapping to the terrain. Shift click to add handles. And if you select two points, you can disconnect, connect. Uh, you can flip directions. If you have handles, you can press collapse to collapse the handles. And it won't update immediately. You just have to re-enter edit mode or move a point like this. Delete points, the extra options like scale and tilt, which you can access over here. Some other settings, you can take a look yourself. And in the inspector, you can control what the path does, how it affects the terrain. You can deform the terrain, you can auto paint it, or you can uh, automatically add grass or remove grass from along the path. 
You can resize the panel by clicking and dragging on the border. And also the panel will follow the color theme of the editor. Uh, it even works with light mode, although there's still a few bugs. Over here we have a mini map. This is a companion plugin for M-Terrain that I've made. It reads the height map data from your terrain. It helps you not get lost when you have big terrains and you can click on it to navigate, to jump to a specific location and it shows you where you are on the map. I'll post a link in the description once it's ready to go.